<laughs> no, don't get the fire. Yeah, stay away from the can of Kiki Mau Mau. Corner, and this is your energetic reading for Saturday, November 14th. So today we have Neptune and Pisces, or excuse me, Neptune and Chiron conjunct, and we also have the moon moves into Capricorn today. So there will be lots of emotions turning deep from within under the surface today. And you may be a little bit moody or prone to mood swings, and that's okay. Just because we're changing energy sources. Also, we're releasing our yod today. So that causes that that bird that change in energy. It 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 causes an energy burst within you to release yourself from this pondering question. And that can make you feel very introspective. So you may be unable to stabilize your emotions today because when you release energy like this, afterwards, you have to you have to experience the fact that you are trying to find a way to align yourself with what just happened. And that can take a little time for you. Now, the sun in Scorpio is going to be conjunct Mercury in Scorpio and in a very positive aspect with Jupiter and Virgo. This suggests to me that your focus are gonna be on just trying to align yourself. You're really gonna be concerned with trying to find a way to stabilize all of this, this um, emotional energy that you have. Saturn in Sagittarius is going to be sextiling Mars and Libra and Venus and Libra are both conjunct, but squaring off with Neptune and Pisces. So this is about releasing you from something that is holding you to, from the, to the past or a past issue or something that really blocks your energy on an unconscious level. And it's going to broaden your perspective on this particular issue. It's going to make you, um, I mean, you're, you're deeply aligning with the, with in your head with partnering energy or partnerships or with moving forward energy. Um, you're probably going to have a more conservative approach and you probably are going to be highly indecisive because you have all this emotional fluctuation. And Libra and energy really likes to stabilize energy before it makes decision decisions so just expect a little indecisiveness even though there's powerful good energy Pluto and Capricorn is going to be squaring off with Uranus and squaring off with Venus and Libra so Pluto is the planet of transformation right and stabilizing your outcome and um fears and a whole bunch of other malefic stuff and um, Uranus is all about rebellion. So this is all about releasing you, releasing you from these shackles that you have your, have put upon yourself. The negative part of this aspect in this, in this part of the, the transit is, you know, you could become very obsessive today about something, can't let go of something. You, it, it has to do with a partner. It has to do with something that rubs you the wrong way. You can't, you can't make a step because you really need to figure out what this, how to resolve the situation because you want to stabilize it. You want an outcome. And um, this is something that you deeply feel is standing in your way. So is there some sort of obsessive issue or secret agenda that needs to come out? Or did something start coming out where it's made you apprehensive and made you much more defensive than normal? The positive is, is that you could be incredibly goal oriented and very um, assertive and very focused on a desired outcome. So that could cause you to have conversations about, well, what can we do to make this happen? You have a lot of compromising um, energy in this. So even if it starts out ego based, it could tur turn into a purring kitty cat by the time you're done. If you have really, if you attach to Libra energy and you balance out this ego based response. And then Uranus and Aries is going to quincunx Jupiter and Virgo and it's going to square off with Capricorn and Virgo. So this could be 
somebody just suddenly breaks out, freaks out on an emotional level. They, they kind of lose it. Or it could mean a health issue just, just suddenly changes or you could succumb to a health issue just very drastically. Um, it's very erratic. It's very violent. It's very rebellious. If you get caught up in this Pluto and all this Uranian energy, you could really serious just blow a gasket in this or somebody could blow a gasket with you. Depends on if, if you're at the front end of whatever somebody's um, having a problem with. And then Neptune in Pisces, which is conjunct with Neptune, I mean, excuse me, Neptune in Pisces, which is conjunct with Chiron in Pisces, is going to be um, quincunxing Venus in Libra and squaring off with Saturn in Sagittarius. I mean, today to me feels negative. It feels highly charged. It feels very combative. It feels unstable. It feels emotionally intense to me. If I were to put this on a bar if I, if I were to put this on a measuring system, I would put this pretty ex extreme today because it's just there's so much brewing under the surface that because we've been thinking and pondering and we've been energetically aligned with all of this this intuitive information and I think matters could start to come to a head in this type of energy and you could have some very serious discussions about it and um, it is about stabilizing your outcome it's something you're emotionally and deeply passionately connected to and um, it's going to be really hard to stabilize this energy. I mean, there is powerful energy if you can, and maybe getting some of this out into the open and just, just figuring it all out. Maybe secrets being exposed. Maybe, maybe um, truths, untruths becoming are, are told. I mean, throughout this week, and maybe it's just an awakening in the fact of where you are truly at, where you are truly vulnerable and then dealing with the consequences of that I mean and being an absolutely um you know truthful about it sometimes living in reality sucks in fact a lot of times living in reality sucks what doesn't suck is living in a Neptune world where everything just seems to have you know um a better outcome but anyhow guys thank you so much for watching Annette's Astrology Corps and I look forward to talking to you guys again tomorrow